Hello everyone, and welcome to another update on January 7th, 2024. So, currently we have high pressure centering towards um, Shetland, Faroe Islands, and ridging towards Scandinavia. And we're starting to drag in this easterly wind from Scandinavia and the continent of and the continent of Europe. So it's getting colder now. It's starting to get easterly winds over Ireland here. So today was a bright day over Ireland. Um, plenty of sunshine, but on the east coast, um, some showers started pushing in off the Irish Sea because of the easterly winds. The cloud cover shows that quite nicely. Some clouds are starting to move in from the east. If we play that, we can see. Um, if it will load. Yeah, so the cloud is starting to drift in from the east, and the radar shows showers on the eastern coasts. So here is the, um, uh, what was that? Here is the UKV chart. So today was a cracking day over, ma over many areas. Um, bright sunshine, the fog did linger in quite a few areas in the Midlands through the day. There was a fog warning tonight for all counties because of dense fog becoming widespread, though it should clear from the south and east by morning, as showers prep the coast. Um, these mainly have rain at that stage, but starting to get wintry of the hills. Tomorrow we will see a mix of a mix of sunshine and clouds, cloudless in the east and south, with some showers on the east coast. Notice tomorrow morning we see wintry showers into the southeast of the UK and they turn increasingly to snow and they drift westwards as 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 day wears on. So this is one to watch. Again the easterly winds continue and it's cold tomorrow for Ireland as well. Now, early as of Tuesday morning, snow showers start popping up over Southeast Ireland on those easterly winds and they move westwards over the south of the country. So actually some snow showers there are showing up. Similarly to yesterday's UKV. So they clear off Tuesday morning, but that is definitely good if you want snow in the south and southeast. So then into Tuesday itself, we see the cloud clearing up somewhat. And Tuesday is sunnier than Monday, especially in the east and south. Um, some decent, likely sun sunny spells there, but still quite cold. Into Wednesday and Thursday, we start to see more cloud coming in as the high centers, centers towards like. Um, Scotland, Iceland, and we pull in the wind from the North Sea and back around to the Atlantic. So more moisture in the air and slightly less cold air as well. So getting a bit less cold into Wednesday onwards, but still quite chilly with frost at night if sky is clear, like at 3 p.m. on Friday, January 12th. Although the difference is that it's daytime, not night time. So at that point, there'd be no risk of frost. So here is our temperature forecast from the UKV. So it's showing tonight a frost, especially in the Midlands, west and north. Um, you know, quite severe possibly in shelter, though overnight it gets a bit less cold in parts of the east and south due to the easterly wind freshening and cloud coming in of the Irish Sea. Tomorrow highest temperatures will range from about, I'd say, three to four degrees. So definitely chilly tomorrow. Add in that easterly wind, it will feel bitter. Now, into tomorrow evening, again, the frost forms away from the east coast. So the lowest temperatures of about minus three in the west, up to about two or three in the east. And then there's snow showers coming to the east and southeast on Tuesday morning. And into Tuesday itself, highest temperatures of freezing in the north, up to around three or four elsewhere. Bitterly cold on Tuesday. Again, Add in that fresh easterly wind, oh, you'll definitely need those layers. So into Wednesday morning then, um, yeah, so coldest temperatures before dawn on Wednesday. By 9am we have more cloud coming into parts of the east and northeast, so getting less cold there. But not, but elsewhere, Wednesday 9am, there's a minus 6 there in the Midlands. Brutal calls. Not really brutal, but... Compared to what, compared to how the winter's been so far, that is brutal. Um, into Wednesday itself, highest temperatures of about four to six degrees, just a bit a tad less cold. And into Thursday morning, because it's cloudy, no frost, but look, but um, clear skies over southern England and 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 Scotland, we will see uh, a frost there. Highest temperatures of Thursday, 
Again, about four in the north, up to about seven in the south. Uh, a frost on Thursday night in the north under clear skies, with temperatures going down to about minus three or minus four there in some places. Elsewhere, between one in the west and four in the east. So chilly night, but not frosty. And Friday itself, high temperatures of two in the north, two, only two in the north, up to around six in the south, in, in the far southeast. Here is the end of it. Here is the NAO index upset forecasters. So we are seeing currently a strongly negative NAO. Um, so that shows that we've got blocking towards the north and the low pressures are being diverted southwards towards the Azores and we're pulling in a cold easterly winds. And it'll stay strongly negative towards mid-January. Um, but th through mid-month period, it will get less cold, uh, sorry, not less cold, less negative, and therefore blocking is likely to reduce somewhat, and the low pressures may track for the northwards. However, um, most models actually show this period here around the 15th and beyond that to be like very, very cold and blocked, so I'm a bit dubious about this, or I'm dubious about the cold. Either one, I think something isn't really, isn't really right there. Okay, so here is the GFS 12Z run. So we're currently seeing this high pressure ridging towards Scandinavia tomorrow and Tuesday. That pulls off a cold and icy and bitter easterly winds. Uh, again, that puzzle of uh, colder air in the flow, like around here. We do see a patch of the minus 10 ice term into the south, and that will, en that will enhance snow shower risk. Um, beyond this, we see the high pressure, as I said, re relocating towards Scotland and Iceland somewhere between there and that means we see more moderation from the seas so a bit cloudier and, and a tad less cold um then into the weekend high pressure high pressure retrogresses towards greenland and down comes a northerly wind at first that is a bit slow but it goes drier and colder here but by about tuesday january 16th the low goes to our south block of greenland and down comes the bitterly cold and quite wintry northeasterly winds. Towards the end of next week, we see the high collapsing, and um, we see a low trying to come in from the west, but that is diverted southwards by the jet stream, and we stay cold, and that might bring something wintry if it comes off. Um, up until Tuesday, January 23rd, we're starting to get something a bit milder uh, around, around the top of the high here. That probably w will succeed. Um, it's, quite, it's a big sector here of warm temperatures, so that probably, if it could go further, that would probably come in and thaw us up. Here is the ECMWF run. Uh, get rid of this and cover that. Okay, cool. So here's the ECM. So again, ECM has high pressure towards Scandinavia uh, tomorrow and Tuesday. In comes the cold easterly winds, upper temperatures. Again, show the minus 10 ice storm coming in to the southeast on Tuesday at midnight. That's one to watch if you're in the south and southeast. Could bring some snow flurries at the at, at the very least. Some snowflakes in the winds, you know. Um, beyond that, we see again some, some moderation from the seas. A bit more clouds, but as you saw, capable of frosty nights under clear skies. Um, beyond that, the high pressure again goes towards Greenland. The ECM recently has been a bit more um, dubious and reluctant about the high pressure getting to Greenland, but this time it's it's working. So by January 15th, it is, again, like the GFS, it's kind of struggling, but we are still cold by then. Upper temperatures, sh sh upper temperatures have the minus five ice term over Ireland, so that is cold. But then we see, again, the high pressure trying again, and it gets to Greenland by January 16th, and down comes the northerly winds, and by January 17th, we are in cold air, low pressure to the south, um, and, a and a block over Greenland, and we are in cold air then. If that low comes northwards, fun and games might be likely. Um, here is the UK Met run. Here we go, and here we go. I wish, I wish, okay, get rid of the ads. Right, so here we go again. High pressure towards Scandinavia tomorrow and Tuesday. Cold easterly winds and temperatures do show again. The minus 10 ice term over over the south of the country on Tuesday morning. 
Beyond that, again, the high pressure centers between Scotland and Iceland, and we see a chilly wind from northeast. Then again, by Sunday, January 14th, we are poised to bring in a bitterly cold northerly winds. We are still not that cold at the stage, but look to our north, Scotland is really within the minus 10 Celsius ice dome. Um, a long fetch northerly cycling there. That is a strong block, so I see no reason why that shouldn't go, why that shouldn't, you know, end up cold. So here is how the gem is looking. The GEM. I just spoiled it. It's looking good, isn't it? So here is the gem. So again, big high towards the northeast, bringing in these uh, cold easterly winds. Again, not maybe not as cold with the upper temperatures on the gem, but still we've got a patch of the minus 10 Celsius ice term to ourselves on Tuesday morning, so wintry risks, a few flurries. Uh, at the very least, you know, um, into the middle of the week, we see the high pressure centering between Scotland and Iceland. Um, the high pressure by the weekend comes down over us, so probably a greater frost risk with that, I and mean, we might clear the clouds up with that as well. Um, beyond that, the high pressure goes towards Greenland, very nicely so. A big block with the gem, and that causes this bitterly cold plunge of northeasterly wind and wintry Basically cold and wintry plunge. Look at that proper strong blocking towards Greenland and Canada. When you've got the yellows and oranges up there, as I said yesterday, that means you've got strong blocking, stable blocking. I mean, you know, jet stream is towards Iberia and the Mediterranean, so we are locked into a brutally cold spell there. Here is the icon. Here's the icon. Here we go. So the icon run again, showing these cold easterly winds coming up uh, tomorrow and Monday, tomorrow and Tuesday. Upper temperatures again, quite cold on Tuesday morning in the south. They're they're important because you know, depending on how cold those temperatures are aloft on Tuesday morning, so on, that will determine you know how much convective, how much convective potential there is, um, due to the difference in temperature between the C and the uh, and HPA. Um, here is the icon as it says, so again a bit of moderation towards Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, but after that high pressure goes towards Greenland and down comes this cold and wintry wind from the north and northeast. And here, finally here's the arpege, unfortunately arpege doesn't get as far out as um, as far as as the other as the other charts do, here we go. In, anyway, so tomorrow is a day of uh, easterly winds, quite fresh at times, especially on the east coast, and sunshine and clouds. Cloudiest in the east and south, possibly a few showers there as well. Not overly wintry yet. Um, high temperatures of, of about two, two, two to four degrees, so quite chilly tomorrow, and definitely feeling icy in the easterly wind. Tuesday again has the risk of seeing wintry showers on the east coast. Uh, upper temperatures there. Uh, we do get the minus 10 ice dome close to us at least on Monday night. And beyond that we see a little less cold air coming in from North Sea. Either way it's technically a chilly air mass below average temperatures even though the upper temperatures are going high. There'll be frost on that ridge. Uh, hopefully I'm right. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's right. Despite upper temperatures being you know 5 degrees on Friday at 6am, you know, below freezing, so therefore it's a frost, it's an inversion. Before we go, just to show you the GFS ensembles for Gory, upper temperatures. Now, that, there's been a shift in the ensembles. Um, you, you might see that. There are more ensembles not going as cold, or just not getting any cold in at all. But the thick green line, that is the GFS I showed you just now. That is going cold and staying cold. So um, compared compared to, to this to the uh, six airs, there's definitely a switch towards milder air. But 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 um, it happens sometimes. We'll see what happens with the eighteen Z and the midnight run and runs beyond that. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out.